make pirate pizza casserole. You gotta speak up, I can't hardly hear you. We're gonna make pirate pizza casserole. Brothers Bistro. Recipe so simple, even a dude can make it. Hi, I'm Skinny Kenny. I'm Pirate Kev. And welcome to Brothers Bistro. Yeah, we got an episode in for you today. What do you think of the beers, buddy? I like it, I like it. I, well, I think we should keep them permanent. Uh, did you know that I won, <laughs> that I won first prize? Well, we, we won. For, you wouldn't have won without me. That's for sure. You wouldn't have won without me. Yeah, we went to Twinsburg, Ohio. We're going to have a little special on that if we haven't had it already. Uh, tell you guys all about it. We had a good time. We thought we would make a recipe in honor of our experience at Twinsburg. Today's recipe? Pirate pizza casserole. Yeah, baby. So we got our boat out. This is for the salad. See our pirate flag? Did yeah. you see it? There's a pirate flag. Right next, to my, right next to my pirate cup. I'll get rid of the pirate cup. Right? So this looks pretty easy. Well, it's, you know, it's the, it's the Clark Brothers Bistro. Right. Gotta get your, recipe so simple. Get your, yeah, yeah. So even a even dude, dude can make them. Make them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the bell pepper, I'm a little disappointed, though. Well, we couldn't find the, the ones in the frozen section. They must be out or they're not stocked. The fajita, the fajita pepper. <coughs> yeah, that was a little bit of a bummer, but we'll, but we're not afraid. Okay, we need some bell pepper, buddy. But yeah, but are we gonna slice it nice or are we just gonna go get it? No, no, we're gonna go get it. Yeah, this is, that's, right, that's, so we're, this, this is done. No tears will be shed. Find them? I'm looking. This is almost like a pirate treasure hunt, huh? It's just like it. Huh. That there's no X marks to spot. No. We have right. done a little chopping right, before. So, so walk me through here. What do okay. we got? So we've got your typical pizza ingredients. We've got pepperoni, but this is turkey pepperoni. Okay. We've got a little mozzarella, low-fat mozzarella cheese. We got it uh, shredded. Well, we can't ever forget to cheese it up. up. No, that's true. And we got mushrooms. We got them pre, pre-sliced, which we really preferred with the bell pepper. Obviously, green bell pepper. And we've got some turkey sausage. Now, <clears throat> we have to get two of these. We're, we're only showing one right now, but it takes two. And then we've got some canned tomatoes, diced tomatoes, which we're gonna prep. We're gonna show them on camera how to do that. Salt, pepper, and oregano. Awesome, that seems pretty simple. Let's yeah. do it, what do you think? Let's do it. Hey, I didn't realize this was a strip show. Well, it's a little bit of a strip show, right? We got our best, our, our cool best. <laughs> how do you, what do you think of these best, man? Well, they even made these. Yeah, they're looking good. good. We got good. looking good. And we got, our, we got our first place medals. Right, you can't right. get rid of those. Right. But, uh, okay, so we're heading on, you know, don't distract me from the real, uh, <laughs> the real uh, He's gonna dice up the bell pepper and I'm gonna pour out the tomatoes. Yeah, the, he's gonna pour the tomatoes into the sink through a colander, rinse them, and then you're gonna dry them on a paper towel. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna be cutting up the bell pepper. Okay, so here goes the tomatoes again. All right, I'm letting those drain. Excuse me. And then we're gonna get our paper towel. How many of you guys have a prep sink out there? And if you have a prep sink, do you use it? I've used it more for hold ice to ice down the drinks than it than for anything preppy. So I basically dumped them out, strained them in the sink, in our prep sink, and then I kind of pushed them around here, just let them dry out. They're supposed to be pretty dry. Yeah. Look at our new pans. So the other pans, as much as they like to tell us that they were non-stick for life, they didn't work great. The hex a uh, little fail, I think. First well, of all, these are ceramic. Well, we'll so. see. We'll see if these hold up any better. So I got them off, I cut the end off, I'm pushing the chub into here, and we're gonna brown that son of a gun up. And we got two of them because we needed, it wasn't, we one wasn't more, enough. A little more volume. Whoa, look at that, right? Man, they can't smell on camera, but ooh, it smells good. Okay, so, so when we first put this in there, there was a lot of liquid, and I uh, browned it up uncovered because I didn't, I didn't want it to just continue to build up a bunch of moisture. We wanted to cook this off. So that's what we did. We got it all cooked off. And now we're gonna put it on this pan. That's what the recipe says. The so pan is a little bit larger than the one that the recipe calls for, but we think we can make it work. It's gonna be the base layer in the casserole. We're basically gonna use some of the sausage juice or- See there? Uh, yeah. And the olive oil. That's a little bit of olive oil still left in there. And these pans are great. I'll have to tell you who, what the brand is. And we're gonna brown up those sauce, those, the, uh, those mushrooms. mushrooms. Get them cooked. Now we're gonna put the mush, the uh, sorry, the tomatoes on top. I'm gonna spread those around. You got a little fork over there. We can spread them around a little bit. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna season it. A little pepper and oregano. 
and some salt. And you lost your vest. Is, we, is this a strip show or yeah, what are we doing yeah. here? Yeah, you lost your vest too. <laughs> okay. Right, so we got that okay. going. So now we're just waiting for our mushrooms, right? We're waiting for the mushrooms to brown. They're supposed to brown and then we're going to put them on top. And, and just a quick note on the salt. You want to be easy on the salt, even though the recipe calls for, I think it was a half a teaspoon or something. You just want to be careful because you can always add more salt after the fact. So we always try and go a little light on the salt. We That's something we've learned kind right. of over the recipe. Yeah, because if it's salty, you can't unsalt it. So just to get these to cook a little faster, I had it covered, but the problem with covering it is it brings a lot of moisture in. So we don't want to serve it up all wet like a soup. So we want this to cook off. So we're cooking it off now. I've turned it heat up just a little bit because it's kind of shrunk and they're kind of ready to go on in the pizza, but there's too much liquid. So I'm going to cook off this liquid so we don't dump off the flavor. And the other thing is that the mushrooms won't brown when it's covered. Right, right. Yeah. We want them to brown up there. And it's cooking off now and it'll be ready to go here in just a few minutes. Now all the liquid's pretty much boiled off and it's just nice and you know shriveled up little, they look like they're a little cooked. And it's starting so to smell mushrooms. Coming in. Oh, by the way, we added in a few more mushrooms just because we liked a little more mushroom and we knew the mushrooms would shrink a little and we knew our pan was a little bit bigger. So we, you know, it's like... Those are some frilly fr sleeves you got, buddy. Aren't they? Nice, huh? We gotta bring back the, the days of all the frilly sleeves. Right. Okay, let's add in that pepperoni. So you grab some, I'll grab some, and we're just gonna layer it in here around, because we want it spread out fairly evenly. And remember, this is that turkey pepperoni, right? Right. Okay. And it was the whole package. The package was like five or six ounces, and now, now we're gonna. Go for it. Oh, let's get the let's get the bell before you add any more. Let's get the bell pepper. We'll do another layer of pepperoni on the very top. Okay. This is how we roll here, guys. We're just making it up as we go, and you can too. Feel good. Feel good about making it up. Like. Okay. Now, now we're gonna cheese it up. No, we gotta put that on the top. Okay. So he's going over with the cheese, and this was another one where it was the whole, basically the whole package called for the ounces that it called for. All right, let's go into the oven with it, right? 25 minutes, 30 yeah, minutes? The, the oven's been preheating at 400. That's right. We're gonna put it in there for, for 25 minutes. You open the doors and I'll slide her in there. <laughs> Whoa, buddy, what did you do? I, I, I took a little time out. We have yeah, you clearly did. Oh, oh, what about shit. you? Oh, I, it's like Damn. I look in the mirror. I, somebody put some nair in my shampoo or something, <laughs> I think. It's all gone. Like, Woo! Finally back to my own. What do you guys think? Yeah. Is this a better look? Do we look younger? Do we look more alike or less alike? <laughs> Put it in the comments. We're looking for it, but hey! Okay, grab that. All right. Looks good. Smells good. Smells good. yummy. Yeah, for sure. Woo! It's been a long time coming. I'm ready. Let's dig okay. in. Mm -hmm. Hey, sausage is good. Pepperoni is yummy. Sausage is really good. I got a little mushroom. I got some mushroom too. Yeah, so I heard some complaints from the peanut gallery that there wasn't enough mushroom, but I got plenty. <laughs> well, this is pretty good and pretty easy. It was only like wow. six, six ingredients. Yeah, it wasn't hard, like 20 minutes in the oven. You just had to brown up everything. So you got to try this out. I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good alternative. Pizza um, casserole. Probably have it with a salad. Yeah, I would. So anyway, if you like what you see, follow us on YouTube. Hit the post notifications, turn, turn on, subscribe, subscribe, and give, give us a big thumbs up. up. And we will see you in the next time. Claw Brothers Bistro. Out, out. <laughs>